But you brought up Andre the Giant earlier. You must have a story or two about the legendary Andre the Giant who could drink more than any other human being I've ever heard of. Well, first of all, first of all, we didn't didn't like him at first. Uh, we were uh, wrestling in Tennessee, and we went to see Mr. Perfect and a couple of our other buddies that were wrestling for WWF at the time. And he was in the back. And when we went back, we said, we're going to see Mr. Perfect. And, you know, and he said, get out. And we said, oh, well, we're here to see Mr. Perfect. He's a friend. I said, get out. And on the third one, he pushed the table out of the way, stood up. He said, I just said, get out. Me and Sag never ran so fast in our lives to get out of the damn building. <laughs> so then, ever since then, I really, you know, disliked him. And then even when we were in WWF at the end of his run, he was overseas with us. And I went uh, the first night and partied with me, Undertaker, and, P and Piper took us to this Spanish wedding inside the hotel. Well, I missed the plane and I missed everything. They left without me, so I had to buy my own plane ticket, flew to uh, Brussels, got, got my own cab fare, got in the back, thought I was late. I got in there and the guys weren't even near you because Vince would never fly to that one town. He'd fly somewhere safer because there was only one flight to fly there. And if you would miss that one, that would miss screw up the show. So them guys weren't even there yet. So here they come, everybody come in, and I'm sitting with my feet on the table, and I'm here. And Sag goes, oh my God, now this here. And I think Andre saw that as this young kid, he went out, did his thing, but he's there the next day to perform and do his thing, ready to go, and a lot of respect there. So that night he called me over, and we called him boss, he said, you, come here. And I said, yes, boss, what's up? You sit down by me tonight. I said, yes, boss, whatever you want. He goes, tonight you drink with me. I said, okay, boss, thank you. Yes, definitely. So he gets two beer, ordered two beers. He toasts them up to me. He goes, the name of this tour is Don't Be a Knob. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so I laughed, and ever since then, we became good friends. I met his family in Paris and everything like that, and became good friends of him. And what a good guy he is, you know? Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.